Uh, my name is Antonio Diaz. Uh, I am a human rights and uh, social justice activist here in San Antonio and in Texas. I, uh, I've been a lifelong Democrat. Up to the last election, I voted for President Obama. And I waited this almost four years with a lot of hope and expecting change. And uh, running out of hope and out of change, the only change I have is that was left in my pocket. So I've joined the Green Party. Uh, as I said, I've been an activist and I've seen that both of these parties are becoming one. There is almost no difference. Uh, I was glad to see that 52 uh, senators voted for the uh, equal pay for equal work this past week for women. And the Republicans made their stand and their position very clear when they, they threatened to filibuster uh, requiring the Democrats to have 60 votes, which they did not have. So women still uh, are treated as second class citizens earning less than men. And, and I am against that. I am for all human beings earning the same wages for the same work. I am running for the 20th Congressional District, the one vacated by uh, Charlie Gonzalez. And uh, I have nothing against Joaquin Castro, but I don't think that Charlie Gonzalez has the right to appoint our next congressman. I believe there should be an election. And that's why I'm running. Again, as, as a human rights activist, I believe what's going on in the border is an atrocity. It is a crime against humanity. And I, I, I hold the war against drugs culpable in all those deaths that are occurring in Mexico by the cartels. The United States might as well be pulling the trigger might as well be holding the machete, killing those people. Yep. The war on drugs needs to end. Prohibition is not working. And it is very, very clear. You can see it if, if you even pay attention to the world news because uh, the US news and the media is controlled by the 1%, very rarely focuses on what's going on in Mexico. They will show you what's going on in the Middle East so that this war can keep, keep on going and going so our young people can continue to be sent to the Middle East to kill other villagers out there that have no choice but to stay where they're at. This war for profit must end. I'm against war. And all this is because of the 20 years I've spent as an activist. And I would like to also say that I'm an indigenous person of the Pamake Tilahaya clan that is from here from Texas. And we've been displaced from our lands We've been basically categorized as non-existent people. But I'm here to say we are here. And we have forgiven all those that have displaced us and trans transgressed against our human rights. We forgive them because we wish all people to walk in beauty. And to walk in beauty is to walk out of harm's way, to have everything you need as the Mother Earth has provided for all of us already the bounty that should be ours not controlled by 1%, not manipulated by the 1%, but for all people. Thank you very much.